What's going on guys? Chris here with Tactical Outdoorsman. So uh, I got a compilation of a few boots that I visited from SHOT Show 2024. Uh, this video is going to be Nocturne Industries, uh, Emissary Development, Shaw Concepts, and Ferro Concepts. So uh, take a look at what they have to offer. Uh, some of the videos there's no interview, it's just pictures with some music. But uh, take a look, uh, see if there's stuff that you like, and comment below. What's going on guys? Welcome to Nocturne Industries booth. This is SHOT Show 2024. Releasing our alpha mount this year. Uh, if you're familiar with night vision mounts, essentially, uh, this mount features 1.4 inches of forward and aft trap, 15 degrees of tilt, two positions, it also has a breakaway position. It weighs approximately 75 grams. Uh, it's currently in a prototype phase. Uh, we're hoping to release it sometime later this year. This is the new, um, new acid grip for us. Um, it's basically a uh, completely kind of new approach to a pistol grip. We wanted to do something that has um, a high tank to it that puts your trigger finger in line with the trigger. Uh, so it's, uh, it's really smooth and streamlined there. We included our kind of uh, proprietary grip texture going all the way around it. Um, and then we have these friction relief areas right here. Um, it's got inbuilt storage. It allows you to uh, just have this kind of like trap door, pull it open, and store like 18350s, 18650s, 123s, whatever you like in there. We have these high thumb shelves so that when you, uh, when you get high and tight on the grip, you bring your thumb down and you really compress around the grip, it really traps your hand in there. Um, it's made out of a uh, nylon 12, it's really, really tough. Um, and it kind of, uh, it kind of does a, a lot of different features that not a lot of other grips are doing. So um, it's been really well received so far. This one's released right now. And then we have the full size version coming out, uh, hopefully in the next couple months. Um, but yeah. What's the price on those? Right now, these are going for 50, a little more for the Cerakoted version. Um, since they're not injection molded, they're a little more expensive. Uh, a lot more expensive to manufacture than just uh, an injection molded polymer part. So uh, they bring a lot of exclusive features and new features, but um, uh, we think it's definitely worth the money. So, uh, yep, the actual compact is going to right now for those people. Um, and then if you got really large hands or you just want something larger, the actual is uh, the way to go. Perfect. Thanks. 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 Yeah, these are out. They got the brace fans and the uh, bar fans. Those are pretty cool. And then the short, the short hand brakes. They're out. They're out already. Mini hand brakes are out right now as well. Both, yeah. both styles. Um, that one in the lock and Yeah. Brand new I like the minis when you have a more extended rail where you're. If you like the higher wrist marks, the farther you get out, yeah. the, 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 the rotated your wrist is. Right, then you just need to stuff. Right, on a shorter gun like this, um, the handbrake is really king because it um, lets you get three fingers. And then it also gives your wrist a lot of dexterity to get across your switches. Like, I can comfortably go from this switch all the way down to my pressure pads or even get behind it if I just don't want to activate anything. And like, my grip barely changes. So. That's exactly how it works. The best world, in my opinion, between like a hand stop or like an angle grip. These are really cool. I didn't even know you had these out. Yeah, I might switch to that. Yeah, that's great. It fits yeah. over two mod button lights. Yeah. Um, so it gives you a lot of adjustability. You know, everything that Unity makes is great. We love it. Um, and so uh, it works really well in the for, for kind of slaving stuff together, but still maintaining individual control. When you go with a with a dually, um, or like a, a synchronized switch. Um, it, it makes it so that they're they're binding together. You don't have you don't you lose individual control. So this allows you to still have that two different textures, two different angles, well, three different angles, and, uh, and uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's like the most function for the small smoke speed. Can you get the battery cap off with, on this one? Yeah. Um, I have I actually have to test that. This is text been going on and off. So uh, from what I'm seeing right here, probably what, what, no, uh, I might have to take this off, but I'll, I'll do some tests in there. You actually have one on that one too. The way it works is that it fits in between a geyser mount, right? Pop it out, and you have a half inch uh, socket and a quarter inch socket, and then a bit on board. So you can kind of choose whatever you want to carry there. But it, uh, it almost like turns the like, geyser mount, which has like sort of the best clamping force, and return to zero ability. And it turns it into a PD, so you can actually take, uh, take the mount off. Snag hazards, and it's just like a little tool that's always there. You don't have to worry about. 
like a smaller project, but um, we really, really enjoy working with Unity on it. So yeah, that's I pop they're a great company. Yeah. So the, the reptilians are kind of streamlined, so they don't really have like exposed like holes. Yeah. Um, but maybe, maybe we'll end up doing something like I always wanted to I'll go talk to. Uh, we, we know the guys over at Reptilia, so we'll probably go over there and talk to them about doing some sort of like a tool that maybe can fit into like the accessory locks, the, the accessory slots. But we'll see. Well, I appreciate you coming. For sure. Bye, guys. Yeah, no problem. The inner belt, the belt loops, you can feel it, it's padded. Um, so basically, anything that touches your body should be comfortable. I know it's a crazy concept, but you know, running scuba webbing seems to be the standard for some reason. So that runs through your belt loops, and the goal is to make a load rated version of this that's actually certified. We, you know, a lot of people claim it's load rated, but then it was put on a you know, stress machine until it popped. Um, but basically, you tighten this down, and then from there, you'll take your outer belt, and this one is rigid, it has Tegris running down it. Right now, it has built in canted. Slots there, and then micro molly going down it, three points for suspenders, and then a micro adjustment point down here. It typically has a shim here that can be cut off. We did cut it off there, but then over here is our sidekick holster pad, and it does articulate and gives you more real estate there. I don't have a ton of real estate in my waist. Yeah, it's pretty light. So. No, I haven't found a, a single Tegra's belt like that that has had anything to it. How is the stability when you're doing like rifle reloads or like how does this look? I mean, it goes out because it's more tight, but. It's, it's, it locks in even more because we're not just relying on Velcro or flat. You're taking a G hook, selecting a point on here. I want to say it's probably this one. And then you are basically just wrapping this all the way around your body until you get to where you want your holster and everything to be. I probably should have went to another one here. We give you a ton of one uh, slots. You end up basically figuring out which one you actually need. Uh, and then you have a perfect index. You can just mark that one. Exactly. Put it on every time. That one every time. I fucked up again. So. It looked like you had it right to me. I know. Hold on, hold on. So I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah, like this. Stitching. Those are bar taxes. They're 44 stitches. And it's automated by a machine that's computerized. So it's not a human doing it. It's, uh, well, it is a human using a machine. Right. So go ahead and toss that. I'm going to do it pretty tight on this one right here. Is this cold water or something? Um, it'll hold a little bit of water. I think most things honestly do. Uh, if it was completely laminate, it wouldn't. But the fact is that we have foam in there. The foam is hydrophobic, but then you have this laminate that has a little bit of Velcro in it and stuff. Uh, so this gets pulled back, and then you basically slide that into there, tighten down this strap right here to get all that slack out of there, and it just creates a lock to the fit. Then this is just a thigh strap. I'm sure you're not using thigh strap, but. That's it, so you have two locked in points, a Velcro connection over there, uh, the ability to take on suspenders and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, our depth pouch, so we have doubled up and there's a hank material inside of rubber, you can feel it in there. We approach the same way on our rifle mag pouch, same construction. Uh, make sure it locks in lock mags really well. Sig mags and metal mags, they're metal, so it can be a little bit, they don't have much of a friction coefficient there, but that is the just belt right now, you know.